95-year-old Rosa lives in Grotta Manada in Campania. Mi chiamo Rosa Grillo. Sono nata il 28 28. Che cosa ci prepara oggi? Cicadelle. Ciambottelle. It's the kind of town where the baker delivers fresh bread to your door and the countryside isn't too far away. Rosa lives five minutes from her sister-in-law, Angiolina, and sees her almost daily. Angiolina grows special fleshy round peppers, typical of southern Italy, along with lettuce and tomatoes. These peppers and tomatoes form the basis of a chunky vegetable sauce called ciambotella. To make cicatelli, the local name for cavatelli, Rosa uses around 500 grams of semola rimacinata or durum wheat flour. She adds about 250 ml of water to form the dough. Quando hai cominciato a fare la pasta? La bambina. Voglio la terza, è la verità. Chi le ha insegnato? La mamma? Mamma lavorò con mio padre, con i cavalli, io a comprare il grano in campagna. Granddaughter Rosa is helping. Rosa is very fit, as you can see from the way she kneads the dough. This is because she is a proud housekeeper and does all her own laundry by hand. With the dough made, Rosa makes the ciambotella. The peppers need de-seeding and roughly chopping. She fries the pieces in olive oil with plenty of garlic cloves. Ciambutella comes from the verb ciambutia, which means messed up or confused. Rosa loves tongue twisters and sayings, and while the peppers cook, her family ask her to share her favourites. Ciambotella is bottled for year-round use. If you do this, leave the garlic until you actually use the sauce. Rosa, meanwhile, removes the peppers from the oil and fries some quartered tomatoes. She pours in some homemade passata and returns the peppers to the pan. Rosa brings salted water to the boil for her cicatelli. She takes a slice of dough and cuts strips. She then rolls these out into ropes about one centimetre in diameter.
Rosa chops them up into 5 cm segments. To make the pasta, Rosa presses the tips of three fingers into the dough and pulls it towards her to create an open, curved tube. She's so experienced she can do this with both hands at the same time. She soon has enough for a serving and dumps the chicatelli into the water. She gives them a stir to stop them from sticking. They all take around four minutes to cook. Rosa adds a little water to stop the sauce catching on the pan base. Another key ingredient for ciambutella is basil. The variety in this part of the world has huge frilly leaves and is very fragrant. She wants everyone to stay for supper. She checks the pasta has cooked enough and then drains it. She ladles in some ciambotella to dress the chicatelli and then ladles over some more on each serving. And I'm the taste tester. This is so, so good. Grazie mille, Rosa. Click subscribe for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies and come back next week for 90-year-old Pierre's deep-fried tortelloni.